pants, but it's cool. Look y'all, that is a gray hair. Can you see it? That's terrible, okay. That's happening more and more often, isn't it? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a video. I've gotten a lot of questions about my hair and how I curl my hair. Curling my hair is my favorite way to wear it. Um, so you'll rarely see me with my hair straight like this, but I know that a lot of you guys wonder how I curl my hair and I do have really long, super thick hair. I have to get it thinned out. So if you have thick hair, or even if you don't, this is just how I curl my hair. So I'm gonna give you guys like a step-by-step -step process on how I do it. So to start, this is like already hot. I use this Hot Tools um, curling iron. You can tell it's had a lot of love. And this iron is the um, one and a half inch barrel. And it works really well for me, especially since I like bigger curls and also since my hair is so thick. So I do have it turned up like all the way here to 430, which is the highest um, temperature that this iron goes. So I use it on full heat, but if you have thinner hair, you may be able to use a lower setting. So yeah, um, so this is the tool that I use. And then I typically, I mean, I curl my hair so much, there's not really like a go-to way that I prep my hair before I curl. I just didn't, um, I did sh shower last night and then this morning, um, my hair was still damp because it's so thick. So I blow dried a little bit more and then I did touch it up with a straightener. So I didn't fully straighten it, but I did have to get some of the wave out uh, just so I would like actually be okay wearing my hair today. So, um, but every day is different. So like sometimes my hair is super like, not kinky, but like has like a lot of wave to it. Today it's like a pretty blank canvas. So we'll kind of start that way. But typically what I'll do, and I have a mirror right here, so if I'm not looking into the camera, that is why. So I normally will just use like a large clip like this. I love these, by the way, you guys. I always have my hair in when I get out of the shower and I look so silly like an old grandma. Um, I typically will pull about, you know, this much of my hair, maybe a little, a little less than half of my hair up and just like stick it up with my clip like this while I work on my hair. So I'll have it like that. And then I'll pull, because I do it differently every time. But I will have my brush. I've obviously brushed through my hair already, but honestly, you don't even have to. The main reason I love curling my hair is because it's like less perfection. Like you can just do it however you want. It probably will look okay. So I'll, Take about this size piece of hair. And like I said, I use an old school curling iron. So all you people that use the wands, I don't know how you do that. But I'll go onto my hair and then go down so about halfway and I'll kind of like pump, is what they like to use the word, the hair through the curling iron. Um, and then I leave like a bit out at the bottom. Sometimes I'll like, if my hair is like kind of not so like nice and straight already. I'll actually curl all the way through the ends. Um, but since my hair is all kind of like uniformed right now, I like to leave a little piece out and then it leaves like more of a ringlet that is open on the end. So let me show you all that one more time. So I grab a piece of hair, like I said, every time it's different, I kind of like smooth through it. I'm gonna get closer so you guys can see for this one. So I go, I feel like I'm gonna burn myself doing it this way. About halfway, okay, and then I just pump, like I'm opening the barrel of the curling iron, pump my hair through, and I do turn it in like that, and then leave a piece out, and then I just hold, and just wait a bit. My eyebrows are like driving me crazy. And I wait, and then I'll pull this out. And it kind of like, this one kind of had like a funky thing to it, but like I said, it really doesn't matter. Like, it'll all end up, I think a lot of it is like the tool that you use, like which curling iron you use. And it's just practice. The more you do it, like the more you'll learn like what looks good on your hair, yourself. So 
So this side may be like a good angle for you guys too to see. So go like a little halfway down and then just pump. You can barely even tell I'm like opening this, but like that. And then just wait, I have a little piece sticking out. It's really not a like scientific way that I do this, but y'all have asked for a video. So Patty, this is for you. I told you I would get it up this week. Um, so that one you can actually kind of tell I didn't leave as much out and you can tell that it's like curled more like all the way through. Like can you tell the difference like to when I left a little bit out? So. The top part is what's more important as far as getting the look that you want, especially like right here, depending on what side your part is on. That's like an important part. Okay, so just need it curled. So this is the bottom. So now I'm gonna take my favorite hairspray. This is the Freeze It Original Voluminizing Hold Hairspray. It has like the little purple band right here. Um, so I just like spray back here. Okay, I have like the second half of my hair down. So now I'm going to start at the top and the front. And again, just grab like a good sized piece of hair. And this is where I tend to actually be a little bit more careful with how I'm doing my hair. I go down to about the middle and then I start pumping the hair through. And then I kind of like roll it in. I am leaving a piece out. I'm like slouching. I feel like I look like I have terrible posture right now, but like it really matters. So then I just kind of slide that out and we have that there. Okay, so I'll take this last piece of hair and whatever side your part is on, like your good side, I guess, whatever side you like your photos to be taken on. Um, for me, that's this is my, my good side. This is where I pay like the most attention when curling my hair. This side and the bottom, not. I mean, I, I probably don't pay that much attention to any of it, but this is like the side that is gonna like make the look. So here you can kind of see like all these pieces. I'm gonna run my fingers through this at the end, but I will go ahead and spray it. So just give it a little spray. Again, I like to start with the front. So I'm gonna take like this piece here and pull it out kind of like in front of me. And I again, like I'm gonna go, this time I start to turn the curling iron a little bit earlier. I'm pumping it through and twisting and I'm leaving out just a little bit at the end if you can see right there. So this one, this is an important piece, art. So just wait, I like this one to be really good. Okay, so there's my curl there. So next I'm gonna go, so on this side, I feel like just in general also, like I have more hair over here. So what I like to do next is take like, kind of like this top layer of hair right here. And I like to curl that piece separately. So this area you almost have like a third layer because I've already done like the bottom. And I like to go on this side, especially like kind of like higher up to the top, like to my head. You know what I mean? Like not as much, like on this side, I feel like it's just very like right here. Up here, I do like to go up a little bit higher. Now this is my last piece. I'm just gonna go in and start pumping the hair through. Have a little bit left stuck out here. I'm gonna slide it through. And that should be good. Okay, so now I'm gonna like turn my head so y'all can see too. All of this is curled. I wonder what that looked like. <laughs> okay, all of that is all of this is curled. So I'm gonna do give it a spray. Okay. It's curled. So now I'm gonna take this clip out of the back. And depending on 
when I do my hair, I do, some people are like, never brush through your curls. I do sometimes. It just depends on how my hair is acting. Well, since I went to bed with my hair wet last night and then woke up this morning and blow dried it, and then I've had it down all day, my hair is currently very smooth. So I'm not having to worry about like any frizzy, like heat hasn't been on my hair in a while. So I will just like run my fingers through this, like all the way through. And kind of like shake here. And then, like I said, this part to me is like the most important. So I will, see I like how like here, like you see where the pieces where you, pieces, sorry, paces, pieces that you left out are doing like this, like at the ends, like I think that's so pretty. Um, and then here, like your good curl piece, like I said, is very important. Um, and then again, like here, you can see like some of the, like, some of the curls are more prominent. You can pull them out more if you like to. This is kind of where I like to size it. Then I'm gonna spray and spray underneath. That's gonna give you like more volume to spray on the back side, top side, use more hairspray if you need it. Um, so that is how I do my hair and that's how I curl my hair. So you can kind of style it however you like, but since y'all have asked how I do my hair, this is how I do it and it works for me. So I hope that it works for you guys and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.